Hey YouTube, JS, hope all is well. I have so much content in my head for this, I could probably go for five hours straight. Uh, you guys wouldn't like that, but you know, the content I think is interesting. I have an unboxing today of a absolute state-of-the-art, world-class 1911 uh, at, at my home range, and you guys have seen other videos and stuff. I got cornered by Brian Gunny Zenz and Daniel Richardson. And uh, they've been pedaling and pushing and prodding and, hey, hold this, JS, take a look at this. Hold this gun, right? It's a Cabot, okay? Cabot. Uh, we're going to do this unboxing. For any of those that, uh, that have never seen a Cabot, it is absolutely an amazing pistol. Um, look, if you're going to complain about the price or how much something costs, pause the video now. If you want to kind of see one, one of the best 1911 manufacturers in the world, keep watching. And I'm not saying that because I own it. I'm saying that simply because it is. This guy is an absolute beauty. It's called the Vintage Classic by Cabot. Let's, let's zoom in, take a look. This guy comes in a just absolute gem of a box. Look at this. Amazing. You open it up, hinged box, plenty of foam. You got your disassembly tool, your owner's manual. This is a 9mm 2 quality with their logo. There it is, a little bit in white. Cabot guns made in the USA. High quality master lock, empty shell casing, cool collector's box. Cabot's located in Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh and Cabot, PA. Uh, they did a partnership or something with like Penn United Technologies. It has a super space age kind of technology. These guys take a real engineering approach from the quality, the design, things like that. Uh, we hear a lot about fit and finish. We hear a lot about made in the USA. One may want to ask is, it comes down to MIM parts in 1911s. Where are the parts? A lot of parts or some parts can be made overseas, imported into the US, and then kind of finished off. So if you really dig a little deeper, what you start to learn is there's tool steel and things like that. Cabot, what they do is they start with blocks of 4140 billet steel or 416, 420 stainless steel, complete huge blocks. And they have this, I don't really know, it's like an ETM process, which is this absolute fine micro precision uh, cutting. This is the next level of machining. Machine cut to two ten thousandths of an inch. I mean, this is serious. I'm not just making up numbers. What you can see here is look at the back of this when I rack the slide. The tolerances are so tight that there's no wiggle. You don't believe me? Go take out your 1911 that you have, your Springfield, whatever you have, not knocking it, and uh, wiggle it here. So the precisions, the slide to frame is absolutely incredible on this. It's a true family heirloom production, once of a lifetime thing, and you will pay. Uh, you have to pay to, to play in this game, but I am going, for those that know me, I train a lot. And this is not a safe queen. I will be shooting the hell out of this thing. I got this bad boy in 9mm, and I will be shooting it every day. And it shoots like a dream. I have roughly, I'd say 300 rounds through it. I've had the gunny shoot it. I've had Daniel shoot it. I've had my entire training class shoot it. I wanted them to feel something so nice. Um, feel what it's like to lock the slide back like this, to pull the trigger, the short take crisp absolute you know the reset just freaking fantastic and everybody says their gun feels good and people you know they believe that until you actually hold another guy's gun at the range give it a shot and give it a test squeeze i mean this guy is tops absolute tops so okay back to how they make it they make everything in-house true made in the usa uh, um, all the components and the parts in-house they, you know, they're not borrowing other guys' parts, things like that. So that's different. You know, if you want to kind of see how, what that's like, look at my Dan Wesson video. But polish, assembly, everything machined. True production gun, but you get a total custom built, you know, custom finish. This guy has a 
special thermal chemical treatment and for the vintage classic which i think is so good yeah it's a little oily guys i just got back from the range i lubed it up but uh and don't worry about too much lube man you shoot it off you, you know that's my theory i don't really get all into that oh man it's really wet who cares but uh but guys look at this finish no safe queen here i am gonna shoot the heck out of it Stainless steel, CNC machined, built in house, true production gun. Cabot was created in 2011, 100% made in the USA. Been around for what, seven years now, seven, eight years. A lot of folks still aren't aware of them. Go check out their, they're bigger on Instagram. They have 100,000 followers. Facebook page, eh, not too much going on and, there. You know, there's about 20 YouTube videos, so you can really um, do it. If you ever heard of a company that created a meteorite gun just because they could, and the incredibleness of that one, that very unique kind of hundred, half a million dollar gun. Uh, this is that company. Classic finish here, as we talked about. This is a best-selling finish. It's one. It's the cheapest gun, second to cheapest gun in the lineup at three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. That's right. I know it's expensive, but as I said, for Brian and Daniel, what they did is they wore me down. And they both surrounded me, true story. Like, J.S., you need to get this. I'm like, man, I can't afford that. But they were like, all right, well, you can do layaway. I'm like, man, I need like a 10-year layaway plan. <laughs> and they were like, all right, for you, since it's you and you train here so much, we'll hook you up with a deal. So these guys let me pay off at my own pace. So it took me about, I would say, six to seven months. You know, you do the math on that. To me, it was like making a car payment. But that was really the only way I could have done it. I would come in every payday. Put whatever I could afford down, 200 bucks, 300, whatever I could squeeze out. But guys, I'm telling you, man, best freaking 1911. No, best firearm I own. Period. Glocks, Canics, other 1911s. It doesn't matter. I shoot this gun so good, and I will splice in footage that I'm amazed that it's me pulling the trigger. Yeah, I've been to a lot of training, and I've been to advanced trainings, and I know all the fundamentals, and I know how to tweak, and I can feel now when I jerk a shot, I know where it's going. I'm kind of at that level now. Um, you know, obviously most of you guys that are shooters are, but my accuracy is so superb that I really, really love this gun. Um, one of the things that stand out is their, ser their special serrations, okay? This is kind of, um, I think this is called shit, Trinity. They call that like a Trinity um, serrations. Their checkering is really cool. It's, uh, it designs to go up and down, right? Instead of a, like a meat grinder kind of 25 LPI, this is kind of smoother, but it's a different type of grip. And this is called rhombus checkering. It's their proprietary. And uh, this is the commander link. So it's a four and a half versus the five. And there's a whole thing, and I'm not going to be able to explain it right, but when a gun cycles, the way John Moses Browning did it, it's just everything from the hammer to the trigger to the engagement to the barrel to the slide, everything, you know, it's a precision kind of philosophy. Well, in order to kind of make this even better, they created, they shortened things, they, they did special guide rods. There's like four or five things these guys created on their own. And basically it's called full cycle technology. So it's in there, man. It, it, and it makes this guy function like a full size. And a lot of guys that feel it feel, they go, man, this feels really good. And, um, in terms of like assembly and stuff, a lot of times 1911s, they'll talk about, oh man, fit and finish the, the file. And I think that's good for your Nighthawks, Les, Dan's, all these things. I'm not knocking anything. But what these guys do, and it, it sounds cool to me, it may not sound cool to you, but it really is cool, is they their precision is so darn good, it's called clone technology. And literally, think state-of-the-art NASA kind of labs and engineering. You can take parts that come off and they're interchangeable. And instead of hand fit, the emphasis is interchangeable parts. That means you are so precise and the smoothment, the smoothness and the action is so good that you're leaving the rest of the field behind. So they call that clone technology. I mean, this thing is beautiful to look at 
all their guns are just freaking beautiful. I'm going to show you guys a lot of pictures, uh, but and this thing is even more beautiful to shoot. Everything, you see how the end of the slide, how this is round, and how it goes into these Novak sights? Look at that. Small little details. This is fantastic. They have some models. I wish I had front serrations, but this is the S103 Vintage Classic. They have the S100. This is the 103. They have many other ones. You kind of go up the line. There's different styles for the elites and the big dogs that have the extra cash and the money. They make special editions, you know, Donald Trump, Obama's. Uh, they make lefties, righties. I mean, you can get to 10,000, 20,000, 5,000, 6,000. They have Damascus steel guns for nightstands with a light. I mean, you, you got to get in the big leagues, but this is the ultimate big league. Uh, that's kind of can say. They guarantee 1.5 inch groups at 25 yards. The precision is there. These guys come out with. Uh, a gold bead. They also have night sights. Um, when my when my Cabot arrived, I had a little bit of play. Uh, not that I'm an expert or anything, but I, to me, I had a little bit of play in my trigger. Okay, and I literally sent it back. So this whole what is the customer service? I called. Well, I went back to the gunny, so of course I got good treatment. But they gave me a return bill. I paid. Uh, Oh, for next day shipping, it was like right away. They shipped it to Indiana, which is their other facility, or Ohio, one or the other. I think it's Indiana. And, man, they worked it, and I gave them this nice list. I said, please take up the slop or the slack in the trigger and kind of make it a better custom feel for me. And I said, I'm not real big on the, the gold BB in the front. Uh, I don't want to get into a lecture, folks, but... Um, it's like religion with sights. People like big dots, little dots, fiber optics, bright, night, all that. For me, I want it blacked out, okay? And I want to put a little line there, and I want my laser focus to be so tight on this, not the target, but my front sight, that that's my accuracy. So I went for old school, man. This is how they came in the original. I wanted a blacked out front sight. So I called them, and they don't just bolt these on. Look at these top serrations. There's no side-to-side -side dovetail. It's a front-to-back dovetail. They literally, the customer service was so good. He says, Mike from uh, Cabot says, the COO, by the way, he goes, we fixed your gun. We totally redid your trigger. And we created, we made you a blacked-out front sight. He didn't say they went and bought one, guys. He said they made me one. And it was free. And I'm willing to pay. But it was free. And then they shipped it right back. I was so pleased. The communications was so cool. I called him up because I was on my way to a Pat Mack class. I called up Mike, and we were shooting the breeze. Man, he talked to me about whatever I had. Uh, talked about getting them to come down to the local gun range, engage us. Told them to want some t-shirts, things like that. But these guys are fantastic. Just fantastic to work with. Custom barrel, how they do that. I want to show you guys some footage of, of me shooting it. Um, people, a common thing is show me, okay, man, $4,000. That's, let's see, let's do the math. That's eight Glocks or 10 Canics or a Nighthawk and two Glocks or two Dan Wessons. Yeah, you can think about that, guys. I mean, and I agree. If you're just starting out and you know who you are, man, if you're on a budget, get yourself a Glock. Uh, if you're the connoisseur and you get better more and more into guns and you really want to work on you know, world-class accuracy, and you think the tool, you know, yeah, they say it's the skill set and all that, but I'm telling you guys, man, this tool, this covers up for skill set. This thing has improved my game a lot, and you'll see when I shoot it. And I was talking to Daniel, but I'm like, Daniel, why? I don't shoot my Glock as good. I shoot my Canic better because it has a rounded trigger. This guy has a rounded trigger. Um, I'm like, why is my accuracy much so much better? He goes, oh, it's in your head. I'm like, dude, I don't think so, man. Uh, by the way, look at the uh, grips. Bad, custom, awesome. I think this is walnut. But awesome custom grips. They even have woolly mammoth tooth. They've got, you know, I mean, just complete out there designs. But this is all you need, man, for texture and holding in your hand. Perfect. I don't need to do anything to this gun. I love it as it is. Anyway, guys, 
I'm probably going to get Brian Zins to do a real interview with me on this, right? Kind of because he was the front man, 11-time national champion. He won two championships with Cabots. In some of my other videos, you should have seen some of his Cabots and the different models that they have. But uh, he can speak to this stuff better than I can. All right, guys. Listen, this is JS. Enjoy the footage. Guys, we're getting ready to go out to the range. I light it up. JS style. I am so happy. Anyway, uh, here's some pictures uh, for marketing from Cabot's website. Various shot shows where they unveil new models every year. This one's spectacular. Um, you can see more of the Damascus and the different ivory special um, cuts that they do with Mammoth. They only make it for the Cabot's. Anyway, enjoy the live footage here. All right, we're gonna play around. I'm gonna shoot this bullseye at uh, 30 feet. And then I'm going to uh, shoot nine rounds from the cabinet. And then we're gonna put it all the way back to 75 feet, which is 25 yards, see how we do. Wish me luck. This may not end, may not end well. No trickery either. Whatever I get is whatever I get. It's, uh, I was really surprised I was That was cool. I definitely will take that. Nice. Nice on the cabin. Now we're going to run 75 feet. Get to it. I should probably stop there. <laughs> No, oh, good lord. Let's get it going. Focus on breathing. I got it for a 40 and then there's one. Here's the laughing part. Let's see how we do. Of course, I really won't know if I missed the target altogether. So I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think it's like a seven, eight, and a nine. I'll take that. We didn't re-engineer the 1911 because we had to. We didn't build a gun with more precision because we could. We didn't develop clone technology because no one else can. We didn't make them stylish to function better. We built them because of what they are. An American classic. Cabot Gardens.